Ninth race into the stretch, second division of the Casual Breeze Stakes. Here they come. They're off and trotting. First call off the gate to Lifetime Pursuit as she flashes good speed from out in pose seven. From the inside, Cantab's Fortune racing up with her now. Tosca is far outside and driving fourth. Up into fifth is Belgravia, sixth between horses designed to be. From the inside, away neatly is Muscle Babe into an early six hole. Then it's back seventh to find Miss Liv. Shivery Hanover with one rival beaten going to the quarter pole. And that was post nine starter Margie who trails 27 and four the opening fraction. And and it's Cantab's Fortune who puts it on the board. Cantab's Fortune up front by three. She's keen to go on here for Rick Ciron. Cantab's Fortune on that lead. Back in second, long shot Tosca. Lifetime Pursuit sits from in third. Question is for how long? Belgravia back to fourth. Then a gap of three more lengths back. Inside from in fifth as they continue that march up towards the midway point. The rail from in fifth belongs right now to Muscle Babe. Gearing up from the backfield. Getting underway now for Jameson comes. Designed to be. They've gone a half and 56 and four and as designed to be creeps closer Jingra right lines lifetime pursuit and she's on the march first over now as she comes after Cantab's fortune three-eighths of a mile of racetrack to cover lifetime pursuit drops into another gear and she did so in the blink of an eye an explosive rush to the frontier for lifetime pursuit now she's widened to two lengths and now by three Cantab's fortune back into second Tosca from third underway in the backfield designed to be fourth three quarters in 124 and two and as they turn for home it's all lifetime pursuit here She's blown this one wide open. She leads by five lengths now. Way back in second at the inside, Cantab's Fortune. Clear sailing for design to be on the outside late from third as they come into the final eighth of the mile. It's all lifetime pursuit now. She's gone. She opens up by six. Battles on for place. This division of the casual breeze, it was lifetime pursuit in a crush fest. 152 and one. She's tied the track and Canadian record. A stakes record performance here for lifetime pursuit. One fifty-two and one equals the stakes and track Canadian record here. With lifetime pursuit, uh, the heavily favored uh, filly here by Cantab Hall driver Yannick Jingra joins me in the winner's circle. And uh, Yannick, just the way that the race unfolded, uh, honest fractions were put on the front end, uh, forced you to come first up. Yeah, you know I couldn't move it back to the lead, but uh, I think she's better, you know, chasing you know, down horses. And uh, Rick's, Rick's filly looked a little keened up coming up the first turn, so I just uh, figure I know. Wait there until somebody came and uh, made my move. At the three-quarter pull, I mean, uh, she marched on by like a pacer. Does she ever have a quick turn of foot? Yeah, she can really scoot. You know, uh, she, uh, she's been good, you know. She's been good all year, but she's really stepped it up since uh, Ambletonian Oaks Day. And uh, she was scary good that day, and she, uh, she's kept uh, you know, she's just sharp now as she was then. What's the difference between her over the course of the last couple of weeks? I mean, uh, starting off the season, it seems like she wasn't as good as she is now. Is she just getting better and better as the season progresses? Yeah, no doubt. She's gotten better the last uh, three uh, three starts. You know, I mean, there's no doubt about that. But also, um, not a couple start leading up to the uh, to the Oaks. Uh, the, just the trip wasn't working out. You know what I mean? She got locked in a couple time, and uh, then another time, you know, she, she was parked a whole mile from the pole stand. So like, you know, maybe she was getting a little bit sharp then, and the trip was just wasn't working out. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a combination of both. But um, obviously, on paper, uh, it looks like her last three starts have been vicious. But uh, she, she's been good all along. Okay, you sat behind a lot of nice fillies over the course of your career. She set a world record on Hamble Day, 150 and four. Where does she rank? Well, you know, I mean, I, I've driven uh, Maven. You know, Maven was right at the top as well. You know, I mean, I think uh, she's right up there with her. You know, I mean, she uh, she got two back-to-back -back world record, and all tonight, here, you know, she uh, got a track record here tonight. So it's hard to not to put her right at the top. There's no doubt there. You know, uh, she's beautiful to drive, and uh, hopefully she stays sharp. All right, congratulations. Thank you very much. Lifetime Pursuit driver Yannick Jingra, Jimmy Tactor captured the second of two casual breeze splits here at Mohawk.